Hey guys, welcome to another Patreon sponsored video. This one is for Evo Land. Jonathan James is the supporter today and he wanted me to play this game, which I'm actually going in for blind. All I know about it so far is that it's some sort of love letter to RPGs in general. And I've actually still never gotten around to playing it. So thank you Jonathan James for your support. If you want to find out how to sponsor a video and tell me what game to play for an hour, check out patreon.com slash SebastianSB. The link, like always, is in the description. You got right key. There seems to be some chest open this way. Oh wow, really just got right... They mean literally right key, as in that's the only button that works right now. Always going right is boring. You got left key. That's good. You can't go anywhere else anyway. Okay, we have 2D movement. So far, this is exactly how the beginning of a DLC quest is actually plays. Is they play around with the idea of like, you gotta buy the ability to jump. And stuff like that. And has a horse armor joke. You got basic scrolling. You wanna see where you're headed, right? Yay! So now I'll be able to actually move past the screen. Alright, we're starting off in Zelda territory. So it sounds like I'll have to unlock every single button press in the game one by one. You got sound effects! The game is much more alive this way. Alright, now you're just being cute about it. You got smoother scrolling. Save you some headaches. Now, oh, here we go. We're immediately done with the screen by screen scrolling. This is definitely going to be one of those games where the developers are just kind of having some fun and being pleased with themselves. Oh, can't get past the bushes. Gonna have to find a different chest for that. We got a sword! You can kill evil monsters and cut down bushes. We're using... Spacebar, okay. WASD spacebar. I tried using- it says- it has full controller support, supposedly, but, uh... PS4 and Xbox One controllers did not work. Uh, I think the game's older than that. But I don't have... a, uh, setup for Xbox 360 controllers right now, so I'm playing with WASD. You got monsters, be careful not to touch them. Oh, I, I should've just gone around that chest, frankly. Should've found the chest that gave me swimming. Is that- are those Octo Rocks? Oh, that's not the sound I thought that would make. And I'm dead. <laughs> wow, okay. You die instantly. How was I supposed to attack- I, I guess the awkwardness there is I was trying to attack him, and I couldn't turn in that direction. There is grass back here, so I might as well just come back here with the sword when I get it. At least we're not set far that far back, but I assume at some point one of these is gonna be- You unlocked saving! Oh, enter also works. That's handy. Oh, so does E. Okay, there's a few options for this. Does not work on trees. So what's back here in this little corner? Yeah, I see you over there. You got a star. Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. Oh, it's a collectible. Okay. Collectibles are nice, but I was kind of hoping for, for useful. That's a good place to start, is things that help me. This poor chest. Doomed to always be the thing that causes pain and suffering in the world. Music! Alright. Topping the charts since 2012. I think that was a joke originally of like, haha, it's just topping the charts since the moment this game came out, but uh, now it's actually is, now it actually is in the past. It's four years ago. Summoning circle? Save points, an evolution that changed gaming forever. Boop. The, uh... This, 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 is a, this is always a nitpicking thing for me, but when I see, uh... A super low-resolution, uh, 2D sprite on the screen... Got another star. Which is what this game is so far. It kind of bothers me when the bottom of the screen has, like... Clean font, and the little- the icons in the corner are way higher resolution than the rest of the game. Uh, card bad, a new card to play Double Twin. So this game has- oh! I guess if it's gonna be a love letter to, to old, to, uh... Old RPGs, it's gotta have an in-game mini-game for you to play. Let's save. Yay. But yeah, it does kind of bother me that the icon on the corner is way higher resolution and more detailed than the game itself. 16-bit colors. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. Funnily, funnily enough, adding color made the uh, bushes slightly harder to see. Can I, can I, can I, can I do the multi-attack? Can I charge it? Nope. I was gonna see if I could swing it in multiple directions at once or anything like that. There's a bunch of you now. When do I when do I lock hit points? That'll be nice. 
I need, a, I need a heart container. Or 17. Block? Oop. No no ability to push block puzzles yet. Oh, that what's the what's this witchcraft that allows bats to fly, fly diagonally? Come on. I feel somewhat limited by my movement, so I want to sneak up on it a little bit. There we go. Die, nature. You don't belong in this world. Wait, hang on a second. A short story of adventure video games evolution, Evil Land. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot of to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. Alright, a brief text crawl that refers- You got storyline! The plot is so deep and rich! Immediately we're calling back to the thing of like, oh yeah, no, no problem forever. 256 color display, it's almost real graphics, isn't it? That escalated really quickly. <laughs> like, really quickly. Sign panel. Luckily, it seems that your hero knows how to read these signs. This path is reserved for agile adventurers. I don't believe in your nonsense. Save point is valid. Uh, there we go. Well, at least we have more colors now. The bushes are certainly easier to see when they're more yellow. Bat? I am le I'm leaving you, Bat. I'm taking the kids. But yeah, immediately- uh, you got free movement. Looks like, uh, time to sit for some action adventures. So now I can move diagonally. The access has been blocked by the dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. Eh. We have, uh... It's always a thing in these games that there's always some ancient evil that hasn't been a problem for a long time, but now there's suddenly a problem again, and so we're, we're uh... Referencing that really quickly on this. Even Game of Thrones, a fantasy series that is known for being non- uh, going counter to formula, has the exact same plot point. Another star. Hidden would be a strong word for for how that was stored, I think. Here we go. So I assume if I went all the way back, the entire game would be now an upgraded graphics. Granted, there hasn't been a, a huge change yet. So we've got the Metroidvania thing going on, where there's like... 20 things in the environment that are blocking your path, and you need to find the thing you need to get past them. I came from down there, right? I think? Yeah. I don't think I took the top bridge yet. Yes, I did. Never mind. I am only backtracking now and failing you. Did I just- Yeah, I'm just going backwards now, aren't I? I missed something vital. The path to the east. But then the other thing said Agile Adventures. I wonder if I'm missing a chest, or if I just flat out turned around when I shouldn't have. It's possible. Probably no map, right? Yeah, well, M doesn't do anything. Tab doesn't do anything. I'm sure if there's a map, I have to unlock it, because that's the direction this is going in so far. Can I walk across the water at all? Nope. You need to unlock Swimming Silly. You need to get a chest. The chest of swimming. It's aka a boat, because it's made of wood. Oh. Bats. Ow. Awkward. Alright, I was dumb. I thought this was a I thought this was a wall of rocks. And it says Agile Adventurers. I realized- I, I, I thought I needed like a jump or something, or some sort of trick. I just needed free movement, because when we were on a grid-based system, these rocks blocked me. When we're not on a grid-based system, I can just walk between them. Whoopsie. Oh, they look friendly. I just saved. That means I get to be reckless now. Die, monster. You don't belong in this- oh. No, the shields. I've been defeated by basic technology. Path unlocked. Killing all the monsters will sometimes help you in your quest. Cool. Inventory. We have a sword. And nothing else. What's over here? Things I can't access. Sweet. We need to get some- we need to get bombs or something. Ooh! You got overworld. Exploring the overworld is always nice, but where are the random encounters? Not the random encounters. Turn-based battle? Oh. I. This changed rapidly. Alright, attack. I feel like this might end poorly for me, because he's huge. 
It took eight damage. I don't know what how, if that's good. Ow. Rude. Oh, okay. It has like 20 hit points. You get 50 gliss instead of gill, I'm sure. We've got currency. I can use that to buy more money. Mode 7. We've got the scrolling. The vague simulation of 3D that they could accomplish with, uh, with old 2D consoles. It's handy, because you get to see more uh, more in front of you, at least. Oh, we're back in 2D now. You got places name, the meadow. You learn the name of places you travel to. It's very vital that I know that this place is called the meadow. Is there any reason to fight you guys? Probably have to, but let's take a look around. Oh, now I can't fit through these? I fit through them before. Okay, sure. What all is around here? Save point, that's handy. It's a good thing to find before you fight them, which I think we have to. Yo! Wait, is this the path I took? Yes, it is. Yep, that was the whole place. Alright, murder now. I'm gonna do a murder so hard on you guys, you don't even know how hard the murder's gonna come. There we go. Oh, there's Red, there's more of you. Oh god. Gotta be a little careful, because you do only have one hit point, and it goes fast! And one dumb mistake, especially since this game follows the logic of where any any bad guy magically hurts you on contact, because with their with their spite, they got spite armor. Chest unlocked. Killing all monsters can unlock treasure chests, and that treasure chest is somewhere. Somewhere. They say you've unlocked the chest. There it is. Whoa. Why do villagers always have such annoying music? I'm sorry, this place just turned into a village. We have changed the rules of how this works. So far we've just- oh, I can't use my sword anymore. Villages are bullshit! <laughs> but that was weird. We very, we very suddenly transitioned here. Can I- At this point, my character actually seems to be lower- No, I guess not. I thought they were lower detailed than the environment for a second there. But the, the environment's definitely getting more detailed here. NPC! At last, someone to talk to, or not. Good advice. I'm, j I'm, I'm joking. He is huge, by the way. Sorry I don't speak to children. That's... more or less what I was thinking about. It's like, I am... like, three feet tall. If you divide that... I don't know. This... What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. Oh, you all suck! If you're not a nice boy, the evil Kefka's ghosts will come out and eat you. Hey. I don't believe in your superstitions. I killed like 17, uh, copyright avoidance, uh, Octo Rocks. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Screw children. All NPCs. Oh, a child. Hello. Adults are not funny. They always complain about us children. If only I could eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found has fallen down the well. I'm too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. Okay, so we're going down a well then. Good to know. That's, I think that's the entrance bridge right there. Where is this well? Then the adult will take me seriously. All I've got to do is throw away my entire youth. You got to enter houses. You can now freely invade people's privacy. Sweet. This is mine now. This is all mine. I can't read the note? Why not? Oh, because I'm a child and I'm too short. Maybe if I become an adult, the camera will zoom out and I'll see more than half a room at a time. Hey, look at that. Oh, I'm still hurt. At least I have hit points to lose now. You got Innkeeper. A nice bed is waiting for you at a decent price. Cool. Oh, I just noticed the fact that I went through open world that it was turn-based combat, but then I came back to this place and it became real-time combat again. Like Zelda style. That's an odd distinction to make. You're not an inn, are you? Hello. Shopkeeper, you can always spend your gills with that guy. Or Gliss. Oh, he showed up here, so the last place was probably an inn now. Sorry, the National Sword Association does not allow us to sew up into children yet. Alright, psych, joke's on you, I already got a sword. What are you gonna do about that? I totally missed the, uh, inn I already- I missed the innkeep because the, uh... I'm so short, I can barely see them. Uh, rest for ten? Uh, you look tired. What about resting in our cozy inn? It'll only cost you ten Gliss. And a lot of blue scale. 
Now it's nighttime, never mind. Sa sure, let's save, why not? Onward! Alright. Now where is the well? It, it's gonna be very embarrassing if I only haven't found the well because I can't see where I'm going very well. Door is locked, maybe there's something in there. Can I go, is that a well over here? No, it's like a stool. There we go. Enter the well, be careful, it's very dark down there. You got secret place, what the hell are you doing in this place? It's not really secret, it's mandatory, see? You found a strange seed, do you want to eat it? Yes, it's floating, what, what could go wrong? I believe I can fly, oh my god. Puberty was not kind to you. I'm just kidding, I can't tell what you look like. You are a li you are a living censored character. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> well, that's what we find out. You got the card Worm. New card for Double Twin. What if we find out that because all these 2D games are coming from Japan, that it's actually just the entire screen is censored because it was all deemed too extreme for American children, and it looks completely different for them. Alright, I'm an adult, I can buy weapons and stuff now. Not there, though. Hey, people will talk to me now. I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the north of caves. The girl has visited us earlier. Is she a friend of yours? Mm, I don't know. Do I have friends? Her backstory? Her personality? The crystal caves to the north are a dangerous place. It says Kefik's ghosts live down there, but no adventurer has ever come back to tell us. So he said north? Yeah. Alright, let's go visit the shop to get ourselves some sweet weps. Welcome to, uh, uh, Papunika Village. Please enjoy your stay with us. I'm leaving very soon. I'm sick of your bullshit. Uh, let's buy a longsword. I feel... You can put... Oh, I can't afford anything. What if I sell things? No, that's probably not a good idea either. I guess I'm gonna have to murder. Good old murder. What does the kid say now? Adults are not funny. They always complain to us children. Okay. Uh, they... Uh, that's the same dialogue. He did not at all react to the fact that I'm suddenly an adult and everything. No big deal. So I have to go north. So where is the... way out of town? Let's see, can I open that door now that I'm an adult? Nope. Alright, let's go way off in this direction then. Maybe I can go circumvent town? Hey, guy. There are quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. We won't let you pass with your current equipment. Okay, can I go north? No. Do I have to grind? I think I have to grind, because I don't have any money. Oh well. Let's go grind. I, I think I'm getting punished for resting in the town, so I spent 10G. Random encounters, go! Do 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 Hi. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. But I'm an adult now, so I can do all of my own laundry. Uh-oh. Ow. Pain. There we go. Now I'm rich. This is just like the real life. What do you got now, slime? You gonna melt on me? Ow. Da 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 Now I can be- oh, that's the wrong one. Do I get a sprint button? <laughs> I know that's not normal for this genre, but... Just slow enough here. Absolutely, longsword. You want the item longsword? Your attack is increased. Cool. It's just it's just there. I don't put it on. What happened to my old tab screen that would show my items I had right now? That that whole screen changed. We never actually used it. It just we just looked at it once and it went, then it changed to a different screen again. Uh, I have 140 left. Copper armor. It costs 150. I should probably buy that too. Time for more grinding. Might as well stay at the end though, because I lost a chunk of my health and I don't know how difficult future fights could be. Maybe the next one's six slimes. Mind blowing. I would die regardless at that point, I guess. Here we go. 10 G's not a big deal. All right. Now it's time to terrify more wildlife with my incredibly dangerous hair. 
I'm going to poke out all the eyes. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't believe in roads. It's an emuk, oh no. Take that emuk. Oh god, this is a strong weapon. <laughs> that was semi unexpected. Okay. Power has increased. Let's just grind one more fight. I'll buy like a Phoenix down or something. That's an emuk. Oh no, he's all alone. Somebody get him an adult to hold or something. Eh, one more. That was a that was a cheap one. Give me more. I must have more. There's, there's, there's too many living things left around here. Wow, these fights are actually getting easier in more way than one. They're getting easier both in that I, I am more equipped for them and uh, there's just weaker encounters all of a sudden. Go figure. Copper armor. Boop. Yeah, you're equipped. You're now ready to fight stronger monsters. And... I already have a potion, really. I'll hold on to the rest for now. Yay. Might as well just pop in a quick rest, just to be capped off before we leave. I took a hit from the first one, didn't I? It's 10G, who cares? It's one-fifth of the... even the smallest of fights. Did I say 1G or 10G? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No reason to dwell on whenever, whenever I will say the wrong thing, because I will just do it later anyway. That's the virtue of talking for several hours a day. Alright, Barrel Man, let me past. That's why I thought. I'm not even gonna talk to you. Disrespect. Well, this is pleasant enough. Vague, secretive mana feeling from walking down that. You got forced fight. Someone's calling for help. Oh no! Skaven mole rat monsters. Mo they're Moogle mole rats? What? It With plants in their. Okay. It's a, it's a Moogle Doug Trio. Rat a tat a. Tat a tat tat tat. I heard somebody calling for help. Looks like she got attacked by these monsters. I don't see her. Oh no. Oh, there she is. I, she's a little mound of body over there. Don't worry, miss. I will save you. Ow, ow. This isn't worth it. Run. Ow. Under Andy Gliss and Tetanus. Thanks for saving me from these monsters. I need the Crystal Knight Cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? <laughs> you can't say no. By the way, my name is Force Choice. Looks like the scenario is lacking proper branching here. Your name is Say. Oh, wait, no, can I just type it? I can't type it. Come on. I know it's soul retro and stuff, but I want to type it. Sato. Is there a capitalize? Yeah, oh, it's automatic. A Kaiba. No! Fine, that's your new name. You, you're, you, you know what it means. Alright. Sato Kaiba has joined your team. Welcome. We're having a mystic adventure with forced choice. I'm gonna force my blue white. What? We need to find the crystal. It power can change your perception of the world so that you can see blue eyes white dragon, and with it you can fight the evil that threatens my village, Kuribo. By the way, I just noticed that I forgot you'd ask your name. I'm not answering that. Yes, I'm not answering that. Thank you for joining to us. Uh, to us. I'm not Swa. <laughs> I'm not Answa. You got a name. The girl is finally noticing something. I forgot. I, didn't, I missed the rest of the text. You got cave monsters. Uh-oh, looks like the cave is inhabited. Well, that's not good for me at all. Hey, come none of that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I have magic. Oh, that's not... I mean, I guess I could heal her. She's probably not at full health, maybe? Oh, never mind, I'm playing as her. I missed that key detail. Uh, let's tag these guys back here. Because they'll immediately go down. 
All right. Oh, wow. They don't have very many hit points. Everyone just hit a lot of attack. Oh, well, that wasn't very effective. You must be a lightning type. 190 glees. Gliss. Glimmer. Who's Glimmer? You found a potion. Oh, Glimmer's an enemy, one of the characters from Hunger Games? Cobra Zero? Oh, I just did zero Cobra to you. Damage, yes. Ow. I don't like you very much, sir. Hey, come on, man. Do I even have SP? I don't think I, I don't think I have any kind of mana. I think I can just spam that. All right. Well, that's one way to get us capped off. Oh, she capped out at 70. Good to know. You, you earned 50. What's in here? Besides sadness. Nope, that's it. Just the sadness. All right. Uh, I'm not, I'm not answering that in Seto Kaiba. Our... Wait, we don't have levels, do we? Yeah, we don't, we don't level up in this game, I guess. Or not yet, anyway. We need to unlock the leveling system. Ah, stop it. Need to replace these Skavens with Cravens so they stop attacking us. Just a little shock and awe. Just wipe out, just wipe out their whole village. Hey! Come on, man. I just want to get through this- I just want to get through Mountain Moon with, without a few more interruptions. We're on the road to Viridian City. Come on. Am I making enough references yet? <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to go through the handful of things I actually remember from some of the applicable games. I can't go over there, can I? Oh, you are a cruel mistress. Alright. It's been a long time since I've played some of the applicable games. My all-time favorite game like this is probably Golden Sun. But I haven't played that since I was, like, t t uh, probably 13 years old. I don't know, whenever it was new, <laughs> I played that in the sequel. You got experience points, so you can now get, get XP and new, and new levels while fighting. Yay! N th we took the streamlined experience and added grinding to it so it would take longer. You're welcome. Everyone's healthy-ish. Ow. You now have three experience. You're level one. You guys blow. But you're almost there. One day you'll hit level two, and then you'll have a level that takes more ink to draw, so congratulations on that. You got a life fountain. The fresh water might heal your wounds. Ow. If you will live long enough to do that. Let's wipe out the additional artillery right away. Aha, now you're all alone. How do you feel about that? probably don't feel because you're a weird rock monster. You're probably not even a monster, you're probably just a sculpture and we're just imagining all this overactive children that are thinking that they're adults now, but they're not. And they never will be at this rate, because they're going to die out here. Oh, uh, we, got, we got extra... Oh cool, extra attack and defense. Heal up. And save. That's even better than normal save point. Because it comes with arsenic poisoning. And hope. Oh, now they're just doubling up on us. Ah! Why do I even get this extra attack if you're not gonna die when I hit you? Didn't I one-shot one of them? There it goes. Wow, we're level 3 already. They just give us all the experience they feel like. I'm at 91 out of 100 again, but two levels later. <laughs> they just do what they want to with, with the leveling, don't they? We know there's a chest over here. There's a puzzle button over there, too. Take it. Aw. Come on. There we go. Here we go. What's button do? Nothing. Yo, it does something. Never mind. You got something happened somewhere. Okay, but where? Card Skaven. New card play double twin. Ow. You guys are invading my personal space from 30 feet over there. I'm gonna have to switch. <laughs> I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna have to. Have <laughs> I'm gonna have to Y5 you to death. God damn it. <laughs> The dumbest time to start laughing so that you can't finish your sentence is when you're telling a joke that only you are, are going to think is funny. <laughs> and then half the people listening aren't even going to know what you're trying to say because you can't even finish saying it. And it's also not worth it in the end anyway. Hi! Oh. Hello, Crystal Man. Take that, Torque. 
We're gonna apply a little torque to your life streams, what's gonna happen here. Ah, whoa, that's a lot of damage. Stop it. That was actually a lot of Earth points, that's not nice. 100 out of 100. They don't round up in this game. Hello, Crystal. You woke up the Guardian of the Crystal, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, hi, cool. That thing looks like it eats children. Imno Tatsu, this one looks powerful. Setokai. Oh, those are my characters' names, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not answering that, so, so this looks powerful. Seto Kaiba says he was under the crystal's guardian for many centuries. But it looks like it has been corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil that has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal. We need this, his power, this power to fight. Sounds like a good plan. When I saw that name for the first time in a while without really paying too much attention, I, uh... Kind of... You got boss a name. It looks much more dangerous now. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when I, when, I saw that, when I saw the big monster show up and that name come up again, I thought that was the name of the boss and it was some Nos Nosferatu-sounding name. <laughs> I think I just accidentally invented that kind of creature. Hey, rude. Thankfully, we have infinite healing. It's gonna be a bummer when I unlock mana. And it only becomes a restriction for my people. Yeah, I'm gonna wave this stick at you. Be, fra be scared. What is he doing right now? Stop it. Stop doing that thing you're doing. Rant- Phantom counter. Hey! Okay, don't attack him when he's doing that then. But now attack. And then definitely heal. Wait, who am I playing as? Oh, I'm playing as you. We got him twice. Gotta pay attention to that act- that active, uh... Active- it was it called? Active time battle, I believe? I think they used it in Final Fantasy VII. But I, I remember I remember I remember also using it in Final Fantasy X too. I think they kind of used it in X also, but in that one, it was mostly having a uh, an initiative uh, scrolling screen uh, cue on the side of the screen. I'm just gonna heal instead because you're clearly trying to bait me into attacking you. Take that, Kafka's ghost. Yeah, too fast for you. That's a lot of experience. I'm not answering that, hit level 4. His life has increased. Seisho Kaiba hit level 4. Her life has increased. The, p the crystal power has been activated. And then they stared longingly into each other's eyes. Oh my goodness. You got 3D mode, a whole new third dimension, and uh, no environmental details apparently. Whoa. That's, that's not, did not expect the camera to do that. The power of the crystal is incredible. Now I feel like I can fight evil which threatens my village. But we will have to cross the Neuer Mines in order to reach it. Thank you for helping me. You're my hero. Okay. Sword. It's animated now. Look at that little guy. Oh, still looks like that though. Okay. Let's go to, let's approach the only thing on the screen. There we go. Oh, goodness me. Okay, this honestly- this actually looks kind of like crap, to be honest. It's mainly- mainly the detail-free grass is kind of a step down in quality in some ways. 16-bit music! Yay! The music- wow, the music's evolving too! Yeah, the uh... These cliffs are a little too square. The simplicity of visuals definitely leans itself better to being in 2D. You got life hearts. Uh, you will no longer be killed in one shot. That's good. Although, in turn-based combat, that was never true, which making me, makes me just want to stay in that mode. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say the, uh... I think the 2D visuals were a little bit more advanced than the 3D visuals as far as... Uh... Art direction goes, I suppose? Out of here. Out of here. Eh. Eh. With the... with the... <laughs> With the little slappy sword that I have, it kind of feels- I just feel, have this vague, uh... Like a hapless cat feeling when I'm just sort of bapping away. Eh, and get him? And you just get a little closer the next time, like, am I, am I there yet? Yeah, get, come back here. I'm about to go all the way around this lake, aren't I? Can't get to that. Or can I? Exactly. What did I get? Pakun! New card for Double Twin. And now we're trapped? Oh, that's all that was here. Okie dokie. 
Let's hope we get to the chest over there. How do you play Double Twin? Main menu? No. Double Twin? Oh wait, we're at this menu? Oh, this menu only shows up in, in Adventure Zelda Combat Mode. Weird. It's like they couldn't decide which combat system to go with, so they just did like this... Fuck it, both of them! Got it, nailed it, yeah. We'll just arbitrarily switch between the two and not explain it, and it'll be cool. All to the point where the entire inventory the entire inventory screen and stat screen changes based on whether it's in Zelda or Final Fantasy mode. Hello. Pixelated textures. Oh, thank God. It looks much more like the real world now. I'll. I won't give you that, but hey, at least the. Uh, at least it's got the Minecraft filter put over it. Like when you're making a, a custom Minecraft model for your game, and then you take the tool, it just lets you add visual chaos to your design. Because you already made your perfectly clean uh, uh, interpretation of what Kielik would look like if he was in, if he was in Minecraft instead of Soul Calibur. But you just need that one little tool. You got a dimensional stone passed. Uh, was it really that small? You're, you're back in the early game. Oh, we're back here. The access has been blocked by the Dimensional Stone. Try the path to the east. Oh, that's where we are. Okay. Is there any reason to be- How did I get back here? Weird. Was there any reason to be back here? Ah, oh, no! Oh, wow. Quarter heart damage. Alright. I don't think I have anything to backtrack to, do I? Because I can't hurt these things. I can't charge it up or anything. There must be something that I, I have access to now, back here, by now, right? Can I bat apples out of here? Nope. Hello. Yeah, there's definitely a tool in Minecraft where, when you, or at least the uh, the popular model editor, where you would take a little button, you take a little tool to add chaos to the model, that, just like this grass texture, basically, just because a little mo bit of modulation on the color makes it look better. Instead of being one flat, solid color like it was a moment ago when we were in trampoline plastic land. I don't know if I'm making progress. Are we back in the beginning for a reason, or did the game just feel like doing that? Oh, hello. That's good. You got life bonus. Monsters will now drop small hearts to replenish your life. Cool. So there are chests around here. I was, I was worried for a bit there. Camera zoom! You look very cool when you get a new item. So we just, we just unlock the ability to, for opening chests to take longer. Golly gee! How would I get by? <laughs> Down with you! Out of my face! This is my path, there's nothing here. <laughs> nope. That was the wrong way to go. What do we got over here? I was actually kind of hoping camera zoom was the ability to zoom out. <laughs> to navigate better. Hello chest. Dramatic pause. Na 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 na. You got a star. Hello, Batty. I saw you down here, Batty. You are not fooling me, Batty. Oh, he fooled me. <laughs> I was wrong. I made a mistake. HD textures. Finer grained. Yeah, this is better. I'll th this is so this is a okay. You got a star. Collect all the hidden stars in Evil Land. I think the thing about the 3D visuals when they were doing the super low fidelity one, I think it would have been handy if they uh, had applied some good old like PlayStation One style uh, resolution reduction, because they went with the simple visuals you would get for that kind of game, but the but the game was still rendering in 1080 by. Uh, uh, 1920 by 1080? Oh, hello. The Noria Mines are just south from here. If we can get through them, we, we will reach my hometown. I hope everybody is doing okay there. Please, hurry, my hero. Because you won't tell me what your name is. Because they might have been slightly realistic about how... Oops, you got three-dimensional world. Oh, that changed a lot. Okay. They might have been real, somewhat representative of how they were doing the super old visuals of the, uh, the first version of 3D, but they were rendering in too high resolution, so it just looked like giant flat textures, where, uh, the super boxiness of the PS1, for example, uh, made that kind of super simple visual look a little different. You really got the feeling that it was, that was just the best it could do. You got the mines open, you can explode the Noria mines now. 
that is a... Wait, there's a Bowser head here. Oops. Seems like they're telling me this way is dangerous. They can do that? They can just put a Bowser head on there? <laughs> that seems like might be a little copyrighted and infringy. Well, not going that way. Onward. It's actually a little weird now that the, uh... My health is still in pixels. The door, this door seems locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. Yes, thank you. Got breakable pots. Yes! I hate you, craftsmanship. And I will end all of the things. That's not the, why am I coming back here? There was, there was two by the dangerous spot. I, got, eh, I could go hit them. Might be a waste, though. They're just gonna have hearts in them, right? Yeah. I, that might have been useful if I go unlock the boss later. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to suffer. Hey, Batty. 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 Haha! Unguard. I got you, defenseless creature. Pressure plates. I guess that's not exactly... It's not exactly Fort Knox. Button number two. All right. Oh. Thank God for the quick the quick pan. And you got door mechanism. Makes you wonder why they even have doors. Yep. Doesn't exactly keep anybody out, does it? Uh, you will love his ability to quickly dry your clothes. Red wizard. He's got so he's got fire powers. And pain. Nope. Oh, oopsie. Sadness. You are annoying me, sir. You won't like me when you're annoying. Where'd he go? Is he gone? Red wizard, no! Oh, yeah. You know what you did. Well, now you don't, because your your mind's been obliviated, but you know. Trap room, uh-oh, maybe you shouldn't have stepped in here. As if I had a choice. Ah! Oh, mistakes were made. You got a key. Guess what it's used for. Um... For the red wizard. I got it. You unlock his mind. Now use it for the giant keyhole. Never mind all these things that also have keyholes. We never need them. You got a skeleton. All he needs is a hug. Hug me. I just, does that make that a skeleton key, by the way? It's okay. Give in to your dark side. Such your feelings. You know it to be true. Uh, nope, not getting much done there. I can see something under the water here. There must be another mechanism nearby. We will find it then. We must. For it is the only option. Die. Is he dead now? I think he's dead. Something happened somewhere again. <laughs> I'm guessing all the water paths are open now. And now we're probably gonna backtrack to get all the previous ones or something. Hello? You got maze. Tip, always go left. Or was it right? Uh, are the old w I'm wondering if the previous paths are now open. Nope, they're not. Alrighty then. I'm always going right. I have been lied to, that is a dead end. Die, bats. I ain't in, I ain't in the mood for your Crash Bandicoot nonsense. There's a chest. Dramatic zoom. Hey, a key. I'm really good at finding keys before I find doors that keys are used in. I mean, the very cart before the horse situa situation. You got a star. It was very hidden. No one ever found it in a hundred years. You were the very first. The prophecy foretold your coming, and that one day the, key, the star bringer would, would arrive in our shores and be heralded by the entire Steam community for finding what no other could. Step aside, witness. Evil land is the king of secrets. Bat. Bat, I'm not letting you live. You're gonna breed. Gross. Onward! Oh, ow, that was rude and and abrupt. Ow, that was rude and slightly less abrupt. Yeah. 
Hey! Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I don't even want to deal with you anymore. I'm done with this. Bye. Got no patience for your nonsense. You got a pushable block. Looks heavy. Don't hurt your back. Also, it's on fire, but let's not. Never mind that part. Oh, this is a bad place to fight a skeleton, actually. Maybe I can push him back. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Okay, never mind. He just eventually sucked at fighting. Got it. Bats. Ow. I'm getting really good at taking damage and hurting them at the same time, which is not how you're supposed to really do at fighting. It's partially due to my ineptitude at controlling stuff with WASD. I'm, I've, I've always been really bad at moving when, with WASD. Something about using f like four, using three different fingers to move instead of what my thumb is a strange concept. It feels natural to me when I'm panning a camera or when I'm playing a shooter because at this point I've played so many shooters for, in a, on a PC that it makes sense, but... Anything that's usually on controllers makes me feel weird. But unfortunately, controllers were not working on this one. Boop! Ah! Go away! Out of here! I'm flanking you slowly! How do you like my strategy by l listing slowly to the left, Al? Yay! Look at you, big boy! Nope. Sans, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to hurt you. You got a high def user interface. Bye bye, a lovely squarey pixels. Welcome anti aliasing. There was a lot of monsters in the previous room. I hope you're not badly hurt. Sorry if I can't help you that much. That much fighting. At least let me heal your wounds. Oh, she just did it on her own. Oh hey, the hearts are higher resolution now. This still looks the same though. They forgot to increase the resolution on this interface. Also, the text has perfect anti aliasing, but everything else is pixelated. This is the, like I said, it's one of my it's one of my pet peeves when there's inconsistencies. So the the thing in the middle of the screen is lower resolution. The stuff on the top of the screen is higher resolution, but all of the text is perfect resolution. None of it's pixelated at all. It's just the inconsistency bothers me. They should have done pixel text, for example. You got whole. A great place to get rid of invincible monsters. I, I guess that means he's invincible. Oh God! Did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. Hello, buddy old pal. How you doing? Who could have foretold these horrible consequences? Hello? Left or right? Alright, let's just do myself now. Oh, cool. Alright, I'm gonna go right now. I did it. I solved that mystery. Thanks for all your help, Scoob. I couldn't have done it without you and your Scooby Snacks, because they tripped the villains a little bit. You got a whirlwind. I want to guide you to the nearest trap. Sweet. Oh no. You, uh, that thing does not... <laughs> you cannot walk past that thing. It very much grabs you. I thought it would just push me a little bit if I... So I start... Maybe if I start near the wall? Oh no! Skeletons are immune to wind. Who would have thought? It's almost as if they have no body mass. Oh, hi, friend. You got a light puzzle. Real adventurers must be strong and smart. Oh, there are two of these guys. Excuse me, sir. None of that. No more of that. Huh. There we go. Spare me your nonsense. Ow. Ah, what? I thought I... actually thought I was avoiding that one. Guess I messed up. Yep. Boom. There we go. Alright, what's this puzzle? Ah, uh, we just have to touch all the, the panels in a row. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. That part that got weird. <laughs> Bat? Bat? Come here, Batty. Yes. Look into the abyss and and, le and lean forward. Do I have a- I don't have a key, obviously. That'd be weird if I- Right? Yeah, it'd be weird if I had a key over- Oh, God. Oh, they suck you into them. That's not nice. That is not nice at all. Ow. Oh. Y'all are being rude now. I don't like it. You got a key. Guess what's used for? Yeah, once I saw that the wind was. Damn it! Once I saw how the wind kind of sucks you in and kind of screws you over that way, I figured, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. Save more health by just running for it. Go! Oh, is that collapsing floor? Sure looks like collapsing floor. Nope. 
You got lava. This one will not turn into obsidian. Saved. Hey, lava. How you doing? Is there wind nearby to knock me in the lava? That's what I would expect. Little... Oh, time to talk about something. I got a very bad feeling about this. Credits will do fine. These are not the droids you're looking for. Watch your step. Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. The puzzle is to walk slowly. All right. Sweet. I'm a Tridori and mind tricks don't work on me. Where are we going? Can I grab that health? Aha! I trusted you. It was it was for naught. Auto fire. The key to success is good timing. What's auto firing? Oh, I can hold it down to keep going now. What's this, is there some, there's got to be something down. No, there's not. There's nothing down there. Only broken hopes and dreams and sadness. Bye. Oh, goodness me. All right, are we gonna add in the? Oh crap. Oh, they put me all the way back too. Oh, you got annoying sound. When you have low life, the game will make sure you know. And by game and by low life, they mean you're dead now. Apparently. Welp. That happened. That. I got my hit points back, so that's one way to do things. Now I know that if whenever I get to a save point, I can just reload and I'll get all of the hit points back. You didn't I follow the wall the wall most of the way. Ow. That's what I get for being a little impatient. Careful. All the pots are gone. Why are the pots gone though? I saved back there. The pots shouldn't the, the pots shouldn't be gone. Cause they cause I hadn't broken them till after I saved. That's not how saving works, you silly game. You're lying to me about your own systems. And your magic has weirdly large hitboxes. Yeah, I, I said it. You wanna fight about it? Oh god damn. It really shoves you. Huh? Uh oh, you sneaky. Okay. We did it! Oh no. Alright. Oh, that's just- that's just a floor. Oh! Oh, that's just rude. Bat? Oh my goodness, why? This room. This room is not what I want in my life right now. That- They're not- the- the, the uh... The, the casters are really not on screen very long. They start disappearing very quickly. For how far away they spawn. Aha! I caught you. Joke's on you, buddy. Why do this cast- the casters and skeletons make the exact same damage sound? That's a strange touch. Hey, buddy. Buddy? Buddy? There we go. Come on, bats. Ooh, health. Probably. Yep. Bats! You know what you did. Ow, my health. Now I'm really mad. You can tell in my voice. <laughs> Is that the beginning of the entire dungeon? I think it is. Which means we're probably gonna go to the Bowser door and fight a boss, and that'll probably be the end of the dungeon, and then we're gonna save her village! Yeah! Oh, get out of here. Does other door open? Yep. Called it. Is there something on the right, though? Can I push you? Nope. Did I get something happened? Oh, you got boss door key. That thing has space for a key? Oh, there it is. I see it now. You just had to squint. <laughs> Alright. That'll be a good thing to close the episode off with, probably. Let's go kick his face in. With my plus one boot of clairvoyance and recorded video footage. I have nothing for you here. Onward. One day I'll know how to destroy you. Oh, is that floor built up now? The floor moved. Time for replay value. Sweet, new game plus. We got a star. Buddy, there we go. Oh no, the casters are back. 
No. A dead end. Not really sure how to approach that chest there. Oh, you can, there's actually shadows to show you where they're gonna come down. Oh, that one didn't move though. Do I have to move one of these? Huh. There must be an individual trick to open the, your way to each individual chest. Also probably- oops. Also probably a way to blow up these walls. Oh, come on. You're just being rude now. I'm gonna go back to the boss fight. They're just like stars or something anyway. I am out of here. Alright, are we doing Zelda combat or turn-based combat versus boss? Parts? Eh. You got- it was an accident. You have broken 20 pots. At, they, at first it seemed like that was going to be new features, but now it seems like they're also doing it for, like, achievements or something. There's a strong evil presence ahead. I hope it's not another frightening monster. Maybe a cute one this time. I'm gonna eat you, dude! Something is coming. Nope, that's not- that, that is in fact... not... You shall not pass. Oh, we're, what, we're just making more references here. Hey, he looks like you. I'm not answering that. Is it a real foe or just a shadow? Whatever it is, we have no choice but to fight it. By the way, the reason why I awkwardly paused and couldn't think of what to say was because I was totally trying to, uh... So I have to make it launch into a wall, apparently. I, uh... I tried to remember what the monster from Disgaea is called, and I couldn't. It's really... it's actually kind of embarrassing. The number of names I memorize over the course of doing all these RPGs is actually really hard to do- hard, hard to deal with sometimes. Now I apparently forgot what the adorable monsters from Disgaea are called, and someone's yelling at me right now. Go attack this chest, ow. I mean, statue. Yep. Oh, you didn't hit the wall. I didn't realize you didn't have it- I guess you didn't have it in you, huh? Oh, fire bad. Nope, fire bad. Charge now, yes? Ah! I don't need your dumb bats. Go kill your bats for me, yes. You're dead now. How does it feel to know that you have failed? I don't know, kind of like cinnamon. Alright, I'm just gonna leave these bats to live in harmony. And they're weird. <laughs> One of them gets to be the third wheel forever. <laughs> Legendary sword looks heavy, but very cool. Does it remind you of some past hero? I don't know. I don't know if I could put together what kind of reference we're making right now. Now listen here, Buster. I can feel fresh air coming from outside. I think we've reached the exit to Noria Mines. Let's hurry to my village. I hope it's not too late. Dun dun dun. Not the village. Um. Was that supposed to happen? Is that chest supposed to be there? Oh, there it goes. You got 3D fights. Hold on. Until the fourth dimension arrives. Oh, hello. And we have, and we have like, Dynasty Warrior-style cheesy metal playing. Bam! That music. What was, what was that making me think of? Oh, no. <laughs> so when are we gonna fight Lu Bu? With this music playing. Oh man. Wait, whose turn is it? Also, how do I cancel? I don't know how to cancel. Oh well. I guess I'll awkwardly slap somebody in the face. I meant I meant to heal. Ow! Now it's her turn. Heal! And now we're all better. There we go. Ow! Why? Why must you cause me sadness? Now I will end you, and your family, for you have tarnished my good name. Level 5. I like that whenever you go to the open world, the game suddenly like, Hey, remember RPG? RPG mechanics are back. Oh god. We must reach village. There's so many large insects here. Oh no, there's a, there's a plot twist. All of the villagers turned into mushroom koopas and wasps, and you were supposed to save them, but you killed them all, and now there's no one to save. How could you? You monster. Alright. Village. You got pre-rendered backgrounds. New way to display things with much more, much more detail. So now we have a fixed camera angle. Oh yeah, we went full Final Fantasy now. At last, we're back. 
I hope everyone is fine. I'm happy the village has not been swallowed by the waste. Will the power of the crystal be enough to save us? Only time will tell. Or only trine will tell. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. This has been a sponsored hour for Jonathan James. If you want to find out how to sponsor a video and tell me what game to play for a while, go check out patreon.com slash SebastianSB. I can always use the support. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I will see you next time.